Now, right off the bat, you can see that at the top, I have this very rounded spinal position. I'm also leaned forward a little bit more, whereas at the bottom, my spine is in a neutral position. I'm a little bit more upright. Everything else is about the same here, okay? I'm about to take off into a sprint, and I want you to notice what happens here. As I go into the sprint, pretty much frame by frame, once I'm outside of that cone, everything looks almost identical, and you can see I leave the frame at the same time. So as far as speed goes, <clears throat> these two sprints were pretty much identical. If I take us back a little bit more, then again, you can see big differences in posture, but watch what happens here. We can see where posture comes into play more before I take off. You can see if I scrub forward nice and slow, at the bottom, I'm simply leaning forwards in preparation for takeoff, but at the top, I do lean forwards, but then you can see my hips lift, my back leg straightens, then I get a big drop. Again, we're looking at the top here, a big drop, and then I'm propelling off. Whereas if we look at the bottom now, I'm forward, 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 and then and there's no lift. I just dip into that sprint and I get out. I've actually adjusted the clips on this one. The start time is predicated on when I make my first big hip movement. This is where we see the big difference. We see leaning forwards. At the top, my hips are lifting. At the bottom, my hips are about to drop. Watch how hips lift at the top. Hips are dropping at the bottom already. I'm pushing off the ground. Well, in the top video, I'm still in a very soft, weak position. Then I'm able to drop down, get some momentum at the top. Then I'm out, and now we see the difference that the posture makes. And I'm a split second ahead. So it's so we see here that I was able to make the compensations up here that if we go back, my remember my speed and my form, everything, after the cone was identical, more or less. My body compensated to create that exact same output for both instances. The difference is in those compensations. So in that top video, I had to create some upward momentum so that I would have more uh, loading coming down and I could carry that momentum into my sprint. Whereas in the bottom, I already had created the stiffness through my trunk, through my hamstrings, where I was able to just blast off. So what's going on at the bottom here is my hamstrings are already lengthened and engaged, and my core is in an advantageous stiff position. So I have all the prerequisites to blast off, whereas up here I'm very loose and lax, and I have to create some momentum to make up for that lack of stiffness. This video is not to argue that posture needs to be perfect. If a lot of you are, are team sport athletes, if you're basketball players, for example, this probably isn't super relevant to you because you're not a 100 meter sprinter, right? But it goes to show that if we can work on creating proper mechanics in everything that we do and creating the prerequisites, whether it be the core strength or the hip stability, then you're gonna be able to get into positions that allow you to perform just that split second better. There's a lot of different things going on here, but posture and positions matter, and we can work on them and get better at them, and it actually creates a, an impact. It will actually improve performance. Okay, something to think about. Thank you for listening. Peace out.